Tony Estange. I want people to hear this actually. <laughs> three-time Olympic champion, the first athlete from France to win gold at three different Olympiads. Exactly. And the flag bearer in Beijing. That's not small potatoes, okay? <laughs> and now, president of Paris 2024. Now that was a very hard fought bid. Why did you think it was so important to bring the Olympics back to Paris? Again, for me, it was so important because, uh, as you said, uh, I, I, I lived the first life as an athlete and uh, my life completely changed thanks to the, the Olympics and sport. And to have the honor and the possibility to be involved in the delivery of the Games in my country, in France, where I started, where I grew, and it was just uh, normal for me to, to go there, even if it's quite a challenge. But um, it's so exciting for me, and uh, I, I really love this, uh, this project. 10 million spectators, 41 different venues in and around the city beginning in July. Are you going to be ready? Yes, of course, we are ready and we have a lot to offer. I think it's uh, very important for France to showcase the best of France with uh, iconic venues such as Le Château de Versailles, Les Champs Élysées, the Eiffel Tower will be transformed into a sport venue for beach volleyball or uh, fencing in the Grand Palais. Uh, we will have really plenty of images, just uh, iconic images because, again, Billions of people will watch the games and we really want to offer them a fantastic moment of celebration. Every city, and I've covered a few Olympics myself, every city gets some negative press story out there. Bed bugs. What's the story? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? To be honest with you, I, I couldn't imagine that uh, with the games will come so many uh, polemics and people uh, trying to bridge with, uh, I wanted to say stupid things, but. Uh, things that are not related at all with the Olympics. And, and this is sometimes ridiculous to, uh, to say that uh, because uh, we have some bed bugs uh, in 2003, we will have uh, the same in, in next year. So it's, um, it's part of this challenge. Okay, people will criticize, will, uh, will have an, uh, a view on what is going on with Paris 2024. But what I can tell you is that this project is running okay and uh, we are ready to welcome the world next year. President Macron has said the Russian flag will not fly over the games. Do you think that the Olympics have become political or were they always? They've always been a part of a political impact for sure because it's the biggest event in the world. So definitely there is impact on on political side. But uh, what is really important for me to, to protect and to preserve is uh, the fact that the decisions are made from the sport movement. It's not the political leaders who can have a, a say or an impact on uh, what are the countries who should participate or not. It's a decision made by the sport movement. And this is fair and, and good for me because uh, the autonomy of the sport movement is, is very important. How's the canoe team looking this year? Not too bad, actually. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a difficult uh, moment for them because it's a new generation coming up. Uh, it's been difficult in Tokyo, but are now improving uh, a lot. So uh, I guess they, they should uh, have a medal in, uh, in, in uh, Paris 2024 games. Well, Tony Estange, enchanté, and best of luck to you. Merci uh, beaucoup. We'll be watching. The world will be watching. Merci beaucoup.